Hello and welcome to the Unstoppable Indians, a show that is dedicated to ordinary people with extraordinary initiative, people who are changing India. On the show today, a tour of Nizamuddin in South Delhi, with the local Basti residents as your tour guides, all a part of the community-driven initiative for heritage revival. What's interesting about this initiative as well is the fact that it unites fairly disparate Muslim groups. A 14th century Sufi saint gives his name to one of Delhi's most fashionable addresses, the charming neighborhood of Nizamuddin East. And across the road to a congested Muslim neighborhood, Nizamuddin Basti, where at one of its entrance, you first come across the vast and inaccessible Tablighi Markas, the headquarters of the Tablighi Jamaat, an influential but very rigid strand of Islam. In direct contrast in the same Basti, a much older and more syncretic form of the same religion. Founder of the Targa of Hazrat Olya and his devotee Amir Khusro. His original name is Ghaspur. After the name of the Nizamuddin, his name is Nizamuddin. So, the population of 700 years old is the same. People came here to live here. The people have been gone for 100 years. The people have been gone for 100 years. The people have been gone for 100 years. तो ब्लैकलिस्ट मतलब बाहर के लोग ये समझते हैं कि ये ब्लैकलिस्ट है। फॉर एग्जांपल ये मैकडॉनल्ड में फोन करूं तो कोई चीज़ ये बस्ती में प्लीज दिया ही डिलीवर कर दिया। बस्ती में बस्ती में बाहर का जगह बता दिए। इस तरह का एक ओपिनियन लोगों का बन गया है बस्ती के बारे में। In the Sufi landscape of India, the Nizamuddin Darga occupies an iconic space, drawing thousands of pilgrims and spiritually curious from across the world. But the Darga is just one of many. Monuments and sites tucked within the Basti. We explore a unique attempt to revive the local heritage of this place and improve the quality of lives of the people here. It's an attempt which has given rise to some of the most complex questions and challenges of conservation in India. The day begins early at the Humayu's tomb, less than a kilometer away from the Nizamuddin Basti. On the 50th anniversary of India's independence, as a present to the nation, the Aga Khan Trust for Culture restored the gardens around the tomb. The idea was that a large historic public space is restored to its original historic character, grandeur, for the public to enjoy. And this has eventually led to almost 1,000% increase in visitor numbers to Humayun's tomb. All over the world, wherever we work, we need to link up conservation with social economic development. Now the trust has returned to work on a much wider canvas. What we are now undertaking in trying to you know, do a comprehensive urban renewal project that would integrate the presently segregated sites and make it an area of extreme historical significance. For the last 700 years, uh, this area has had a profusion of tomb building. So it's probably the densest ensemble of medieval Islamic buildings in India and perhaps anywhere else in the world because you've got over 100 monuments within 100 acres of land. ये मिर्ज़ा अजीज़ कोकल ताश का मसौलियम है मिर्ज़ा अजीज़ कोकल ताश जो कि अदगा खान के लड़के थे सबसे पहले मैं आपको दिखाता हूँ मिर्ज़ा अजीज़ कोकल ताश की वाइफ की कब्र है